We're here to talk about hair, what else? Taylor Tribe. My name is Terrell Taylor. I appreciate each and every last one of you for tuning in and watching my videos. Today we're going to be talking about damaged hair. How to fix damaged hair, how to repair damaged hair, and if you actually can repair and fix damaged hair as well. If you haven't done so, take the opportunity right now to subscribe and become a part of the Taylor Tribe. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and put it in your playlist as well. My name is Terrell Taylor. Let's get into the video. Damaged hair. Damaged hair. Um, for those that's watching this video, inspire to have healthier hair, longer hair, um, or curlier hair as well. Um, we all desire to have a better grade of hair. Um, the reason why we suffer with bad hair and damaged hair is because we're simply not taking care of it. We all aspire to have better hair, whether it's curlier hair, longer hair, or healthier hair, or even thicker hair. Along the way down the journey, uh, we stop taking care of our hair. We stop going for healthy hair, and we just wanted to get longer hair fast. Just wanted hair growing fast overnight. But along the way, we forgot how to actually take care of our hair. And therefore, not taking care of our hair resulted into damaged hair. Now, some damage is permanent and some damage can be repaired as well. Uh, so let's talk about the damage that can't be repaired and is permanent. Permanent damage, the only way you can actually recover from it is by cutting your hair. One thing that I do talk about on my channel is getting an Eva Stevens haircut. Basically, what an Eva Stevens haircut is not actually cutting off all of your hair, but cutting off the parts where it's damaged and when you cut that part that's damaged, you're gonna even out your hair to that length. So let's say if your hair is damaged right here, where you're gonna cut off that damaged part and you're gonna even it all the way around your hair. Therefore, it's called an even Stevens haircut. Now, if your hair is partially damaged, um, it can be repaired. One thing I do say cause permanent damage is over bleaching your hair. Um, that's one thing I was always nervous about, bleaching my hair. I've, I've never had the desire to bleach my hair because I was scared of what it can do. But obviously, if you go to a professional or if yourself that's dying and bleaching your hair know what you're doing, it's going to be fine and it's going to be okay. But you have to actually follow the directions um, and detail as well in order to um, achieve that bleach hair, not only that you want to have, but safely um, in protecting your hair. You definitely want to protect your hair when you're bleaching it. One thing I always recommend as far as before you bleach your hair is put in uh, heat protectant as well as a protectant from color as well. There's a such thing as bleach protectant and there's a such thing as heat protectant. You definitely want to use both of those in order to prevent heat damage um, as well as bleaching damage as well because we want to focus on overall hair damage and not necessarily heat damage though we're going to talk about heat damage as well but we also want to focus on damage hair in a whole. So what is damage hair? Damage hair is split ends, um, damage hair is hair breakage, um, damage hair is actually when a follicle breaks and it splits at the end. Um, definitely when you do split your hair, that's not permanent hair damage. You can always cut your split ends. Um, and you don't even necessarily have to get an Eva Stevens haircut to actually repair the split ends of your hair. Just cut off and trim the split ends um, right at the very bottom. I do always recommend going to a barber or going to a salon. Uh, just going to a professional, someone that knows what they're doing. Now, as uh, far as heat protectant, there's plenty of heat protectants out there. Uh, what you would do is just prep your hair. That's what I call it. You're gonna prep your hair before you actually bleach it. Um, you're gonna prep it the week before. Uh, so you're gonna be putting heat protectant inside of your hair. Um, and also you're gonna be putting colored and bleach protectant in your hair as well. It's basically a leave-in conditioner. What that do is actually put on a layer and it preps uh, your hair follicles and put on a clear coat um, far as your hair before you bleach it. Though, you know, worst case scenario, you cut your hair, hair grows back, um, but you can grow it back the right way. If you do damage your hair, you decide to cut it off. Um, but that's something that I was always nervous about, whether I go to a professional or not. Um, I never had that desire to actually bleach my hair. But those of you that do have bleach hair, I do want to uh, give those tips and tricks and advice as well um, before you do make that decision to permanently bleach your hair. Now also, let's talk about hair maintenance. Hair maintenance is actually taking care of your hair. Um, you definitely want to make sure you're eating right, uh, you're exercising. Exercising actually helps your hair grow. Um, it stimulates the health follicles uh, and it stimulates the blood inside of your veins and in your blessings. Um, and it gets the blood flowing and more blood flow actually increases the hair follicles of growing and scalping as well. Uh, so you definitely want to exercise and make sure you're monitoring 
uh, what you're eating as well because eating healthy um, is beneficial to your hair, not only your body, but actually your hair. Um, and I do always recommend drinking plenty of water, whether it's um, a day of gallon of water or sometimes you can drink up to two gallons of water. Yes, that's right, you can drink up to two gallons of water. But definitely before you go into two gallons or even one gallon of water, you definitely want to ease into that as well just to get the body flowing, just to um, get that inside of your body and get the blood flowing um, in your cardiovascular system as well because that's going to be beneficial to your hair. But those are the things you can do to actually repair heat damage and repair bad hair damage as well. Um, you definitely want to focus on the health of your hair. Um, not only are you changing what you're eating, uh, you're drinking more water, um, you definitely want to deep condition your hair. That's one thing I do always recommend. A lot of you don't even know what leave-in conditioners are um, or deep conditioning as well. Another thing that um, you are doing is overwashing your hair. Please stop washing your hair every single day. You definitely should be washing your hair every other week. Um, in some cases, every week. Um, but I do actually recommend that you wash your hair periodically every other week, um, depending on your hair length. If your hair is very short, there's no need to wash your hair every single day or even once a week if your hair is short. Otherwise, you could just actually do a co-wash, um, just put conditioner in your hair, um, a leave-in conditioner and a deep conditioner. And doing those things and taking care of your hair will get you on the right course to actually strengthening your hair and repairing your hair as well. Uh, so you definitely want to focus on conditioning your hair um, and taking a multivitamin. A multivitamin will actually strengthen your hair, it's going to thicken your hair, um, it's going to change the hair texture as well when you're taking a multivitamin, but actually don't overtake a multivitamin because you can definitely overtake and overtake a multivitamin as well. Uh, so you definitely want to pay attention to the hot oil treatments. You definitely need to do a hot oil treatment. Remember, I'm always say this, hair is a commitment. Hair is a big commitment. If you want to have healthy hair, not necessarily long hair, or just curly hair in particularly, you definitely want to focus on the overall health of your hair. Um, because if you're not doing these things, of course your hair is going to be bad, you're going to have split ends, your hair is going to be uneven. That's one thing that I do want to recommend is you give it an even Stevens. As far as the ladies, they call it a diva cut. Um, I call it the even Stevens haircut. Basically, uh, a diva cut is evening out your hair, but they're actually cutting and trimming your hair while it's curly. Um, you can do the same thing as far as the even Stevens. Uh, go to your barber, just make sure your barber knows what he's doing when you're getting an even Stevens haircut. Um, because I actually get a trim on my hair every three months. Um, I just recently did a lymph check video. Um, make sure you go check that video out of how to check your hair lymph. Uh, tips for growing your hair as well, but definitely trust your barber. You have to build that relationship with your barber and put your hair in your barber's care. Uh, so definitely build that relationship so your barber know how you like your hair and able to cut your hair as well. Now also, I get a lot of questions about picking your hair. I definitely want you to stop picking your hair. Do not use a pick um, because every time you comb through your hair or actually pick through your hair, your hair is gonna break it. You ever notice when you pick your hair or you comb your hair, you get a hair ball or um, this big ball of hair in a comb and you just take it out and you throw it away? Well, that's your hair, that's bad hair. Um, if you get a lot of um, hair balls and you get a lot of hair in that pick and in that comb, it's time for you to trim your hair because that's the result of uh, bad hair. Now, if you do have super long hair, of course you're gonna get hair like that inside your comb or pick. Uh, so I definitely ask that you limit yourself from not only picking your hair, but combing your hair. Uh, just use your fingers, take your fingers, and you know, just go right through your hair, that's all. It's good as a pick. Um, you don't need to actually untangle your hair. Uh, somebody else asked me that, uh, will picking out your hair and untangling your hair break and cause bad hair damage? It won't cause bad hair damage, but you also don't need to untangle your hair or um, pick out your hair as well. That's something that you don't need to do that a lot of you are doing as well. That's something that I wanted to uh, tell you about as well. So I hope this advice and tips were uh, sufficient enough to actually help you on a course of repairing your hair and getting better hair um, on your natural curly hair journey, whether you strive to get longer hair, healthier hair, thick hair, as well as curlier hair, or even curls in general. Um, make sure you watch all of my videos because I actually go in detail to break down uh, all the steps that you need to do to not only achieve curly hair, but actually get longer curls as well. Uh, so remember, it's never too late to tailor your life the way you want to see it. I'm Terrell Taylor, can't wait to see you next time.